good afternoon and welcome to CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. It is Monday, March 2nd. We are back here after a little break and we have a terrific show planned for you. We're in the kitchen today with our friends from Relish Wine Bar. They're located over in Ansonia. They are talking about their brunch. They have a paint night and they made a very fancy charcuterie for lunch. So we're going to tell you all about that. Plus we're going to tell you about a mind, body, soul fitness uh, summit that's happening a little later this week. But first, today's dishes are presented by Stone Academy. The upcoming season of at Reality Court TV, Judge Judy will be its last. Judy Shiland made the announcement in an interview with Ellen DeGeneres. She said the 25th season of Judge Judy will be the final one. In the 2018-19 season, she pocketed $147 million and was the highest paid TV host, according to Forbes. If you are a big fan, though, don't worry. She teased but didn't give away too many details about a new show in the works called Judy Justice. Hillary Duff says she wants to participate in a reboot of Lizzie McGuire, but not on Disney+. Plus. The actress played a preteen version of the character in the early 2000s. Now, back then, the show aired on the Disney Channel. The reboot follows Lizzie now that she's in her 30s, and Duff says it's really not realistic to tell that story with a PG rating. She wants the show to air on Hulu instead of Disney+. Plus. Production of the reboot is now on hold. The Invisible Man is topping the weekend box office. The classic monster remake brought in 29 million bucks for its opening weekend in the U.S. The Invisible Man stars Elizabeth Moss and cost about $7 million to make, which means it is already a financial hit for Universal. Sliding down into the second spot for the weekend was Sonic the Hedgehog, bringing in $16 million. And The Call of the Wild, starring Harrison Ford, came in third with 13 million bucks. Celebrating Dr. Seuss's birthday, it's happening today. Many students across the country are reading in his honor. Schools are taking part in Read Across America Day. Uh, there are volunteers that are heading into the classroom to read to their children. It's a day to encourage children to read books. The Connecticut Education Foundation is reading, has a reading bus that's touring across the week to celebrate. And if you're trying to get out the door in the morning, but you need a quick breakfast, here's a new option for you. Wendy's officially launched its breakfast menu today. It has nine different sandwiches, along with a maple bacon chicken croissant and a honey butter chicken biscuit. Sounds good. If you need your caffeine fix, you can get that, too. There's a new blend of coffee, and there's a frosty chino as well. Well, it's time for the moment everyone has been waiting for, the reveal of the brand new Bachelorette. It is Claire Crawley. ABC's Laura Spencer has a story on how she got to this moment. My name is Claire. I'm 32 and I'm from Sacramento, California. We first met Claire Crawley in season 18 when Juan Pablo, former Venezuelan pro soccer player, was the bachelor. Claire quickly revealing the bond she shared with her late father. I am looking for a man that is just like my dad. Strong, loving, gentle, compassionate, and just a real genuine kind man. In the final round, Juan Pablo preparing to give or deny his last rose before Claire pushed him away and won America's heart in this infamous moment. I lost respect for you. Okay. Because, I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. I thought I knew what kind of man you were. Okay. What you just made me go through, mm -hmm. I would never want my children having a father like you. Okay. And even though she didn't find love on The Bachelor, she would try again on seasons one and two of Bachelor in Paradise, making some friends along the way. This is drama. This whole is drama. I don't want this. Claire striking out on both seasons. We're just having a hard time. I do think this is Claire's last shot at love on a Bachelor show. You know, it gets to a point where if they're not finding somebody, I wouldn't want to keep trying. But she made a return on Bachelor Winter Games in 2018, falling for Frenchman Benoit, who would later pop the question. Who's your marry me? Yeah. Sadly, the pair called it quits, ending their engagement amicably. Now, Claire is your new bachelorette. I never give up on love, and I never give up on where love can come from or where you can find it. Ready to start her journey for love.